So I watched um, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell yesterday speaking. He had a couple press conferences yesterday, but one of them, we played clips of it, was him talking about how this big announcement where he's coming out and he's going to talk about what they're going to do about the uh, drug crisis. And his big announcement was that we're going to come up with a plan. <laughs> it's like, here's our working group and we're going to come up with a, we're announcing our plan to come up with a plan with no possible timeline. We don't know when this plan is going to come forth. And it's like, where have you been? Where have any of you been? The, the homeless crisis or, or the drug crisis didn't just all of a sudden show its face last week. It, it has been here. And so just stupid, real letdown uh, uh, of a press conference. But then I was sent by uh, Undivided Viewer Steve, who sent me this clip of London Breed, the mayor of San Francisco. So London Breed, I think she was one of those woke far left, left activists when she took office. And she did a lot of things that I don't agree with. But she has went from woke to awake, insane to sane. Because there's this, um, they're having this, you know, city hall meeting. And this white dude on the city council who represents the Tenderloin, which is the area in San Francisco that has the biggest drug crisis. And he's demanding to know from her what she's going to do to make sure that drug users aren't criminalized. And London Breed's response to this man, so London Breed is black. The man who's talking, if you're just listening on the podcast, you can't watch, is white. So I want you to listen to the exchange because it's magnificent. Will you follow your own Department of Public Health's advice? and end punitive policies specifically arresting and incarcerating drug users that increase fatal overdoses, or will you ramp up these strategies, ignoring the advice of public health experts and causing even more overdose deaths? Mayor Breed. Here we go, another white man who's talking about black and brown people as if you're the savior of those people and you speak for them. I have a sister that I lost to a drug overdose in the city. I have friends and family members who have been lost in the tenderloin with no aggressive action, no changes to policies. Have you ever spent time talking to any of those same black and brown people? The fact is, it's not just services. It's also force. A friend of mine who unfortunately recently died over liver complications, he said, London, if I didn't get arrested and if I didn't have Delancey Street, I don't know what I would have done to turn my life around. And so you can quote all these statistics all you want, but at the end of the day, you've never lived in it. You've never experienced it. You don't know what most of these people and their family members are dealing with. So no, I'm not gonna start using some sort of system based on what you suggested I should use. I'm gonna continue to make sure that we are providing treatment, providing compassionate care, but at the end of the day, when we need to make arrests because someone's breaking the law and need to be held accountable and can potentially be forced into treatment of services, I'm going to do so. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. So good. That's what Mayor Bruce Harrell should have said. That's what Mayor Bruce Harrell should have said. And like, I don't like when people make things about identity and she's like another woke white man telling me what to do. But I'm sorry, the, the majority on the West Coast of politicians coming up with idiotic, hands-off policies, decriminalization, they are woke white progressives. We talk about the Olympia School District and all their equity initiatives that they're shoving down the throat of kids, woke white progressives. And so I'm sorry, as a black woman who says, I've had family members who have died, I've had family members who have suffered in the tenderloin in your district, sir, and she as a black woman I'm, gets a little bit more leeway than someone else might, might get to put that woke white progressive in his place. And honestly, I think Mayor Bruce Harrell should do the same dang thing with council members like Lisa Herbold, who wants to decriminalize misdemeanors because they're all crimes of poverty. Like, no ma'am, no ma'am, insane. And so London Breed, you know, a little rocky start. Um, I think she contributed to some of the crises that San Francisco is facing, but she has come around and it is never too late to come around. And so I absolutely commend her for putting that man in his place. Glorious, glorious. Mm -hmm.